All right, we're going to begin this section 5.5 Z scores by taking a quick review of the last uh, section 5.4 with normal distributions and area under the curve. So we begin with this question here, and it's not in your textbook. So the price of a chocolate bar has a normal distribution with a mean of $1.25 and a standard deviation of $0.08. Cents. Now we have to keep in mind that the data has to be normally distributed and have a standard deviation in order to do these questions. So question A asks how many standard deviations away from the mean is a bar that costs a dollar twenty. So question A we have a mean or mu of a dollar twenty five. The standard deviation or sigma is eight cents. We draw a sketch of the normal curve, or bell-shaped curve. Mean is in the middle. We know that 50% of our data should be on this side of the curve. And 50% of our data should be on that side. Our mean is always in the middle, as we said. So it's here. So one standard deviation below, we would take our mean and subtract the standard deviation, or eight cents, the sigma value, and we would have a value of a dollar seventeen. Just so this is within one standard deviation of the mean, and we know that from the last section, that thirty-four percent of all of our values should fall within here. That 34% of all bars should have a price between $1.17 and $1.25. Now our question is asking us what's the probability of sorry, how many standard deviations away is a bar that costs $1.20? Well we know it's less than one standard deviation. This here will be one standard deviation away in this area right there. $1.17 Sorry, dollar twenty would roughly be here, less than dollar twenty-five, but higher than dollar seventeen. So, what's the probability of landing in this area? To do this, we need to carry out what's called a z-score, and a z-score is a way of finding the standard deviations. Of that are not within one, two, or three steps away. Now to do so, you take your value that you're asked. So in this case, our x value would be a dollar twenty. You take your mean, mu, and your standard deviation. So we take our dollar twenty, subtract it from our mean, a dollar twenty-five, and divide by a standard deviation of eight cents. In this case, we would get negative 0 0.05, and divide that by 0 0.8. And checking that in the calculator, you would find you would get a value of 0 0.625. Keep in mind that a value of 1 would put us here, one standard deviation away. But well, we're less than that. We're not quite one standard deviation away. So that percentage is there must be another way of finding it. And to do so, we only consider now two decimal places. So we're going to leave out the five and do so. We have the round up our two. So because it's a five, our two rounds up to a three. Now to find the probability that's in that area, we have used what's called a z-score table. And this is on page 580 of your text. And I've already highlighted the areas here. What you do, you find your first value, which is negative 0 0.6, your second value, which is 0 0.3, here. And you're going to trace both values down. looking 
for the intersection. So your intersection is right here. 0 decimal 2643. So the probability is 0 decimal 2643. So that was question B. What's the probability the bar has a price less than $1.20? So roughly 26%. And we would expect that a full standard deviation away is 34%. So we got less than that. So we're in this region right here. So the probability is 26% of getting a bar less than that price.